anymore. The strong delusion is coming. I don't know what to believe anymore. Don't let them take your faith. Take your faith. Well, top attorneys from the Obama administration have now joined uh, forces trying to sabotage the Trump presidency. The deep state is getting bigger. The group, the shadow government. President Trump is accusing Democrats of a witch hunt in their latest pursuit to take down another member of his team. Rush Limbaugh thinks there's more behind this. A shadow government filled with Obama operatives actively working to destroy our new president. There isn't any evidence of anything except the Obama administration and its holdovers in the deep state trying to sabotage the duly elected president of the United States. That is the story. That is what is happening. And it's happening right in front of our eyes. It's not even a secret. Well, according to the New York Times, Obama officials set landmine after landmine on their way out to blow up in President Trump's space. There are still Obama holdovers in Washington, so should Mr. Trump be cleaning house? Jesse, you would. <laughs> I mean, I'd clean house. I'd fire everybody I could see. That's how I do <laughs> lean and mean government while they're all gone. Talk about saving money. Well, top attorneys from the Obama administration have now joined uh, forces trying to sabotage the Trump presidency. The deep state is getting bigger. The group, the shadow government, this one is called United to Protect Democracy. It's headed by attorney Ian Basson, who previously worked at a global activist outfit financed by our old friend George Soros. They've already raised one and a half million dollars as an operating budget, uh, joining up with the other dark forces of the shadow government. David Horowitz, the founder of David Horowitz Freedom Center in Los Angeles, author of the New York Times bestseller, Big Agenda, President Trump's Plan to Save America, radio talk show host, Fox News contributor, Tammy Bruce. Great to have you both here. Tammy, this shadow government is taking uh, more than a silhouette form now. It's starting to flash out, as it were. Yeah, well, governments are supposed to, of course, help things along and help a nation. I don't. I think this is less a shadow government than it is really an effort to disrupt the government, uh, to in fact destroy the administration, and that is is clearly something that the American people should reject. And it's it's not only in this one new organization, which would effectively be like a PAC. But back in February, we also learned that Organizing for Action, Barack Obama's new organizing group, is working with Indivisible, which is the group that's been uh, working and, and doing other kinds of activities and, and agitation uh, for trainings on how to disrupt the and Trump by the way, when we talk about OFA, that's over 30,000 uh, volunteers, uh, well, actually, they're being paid, uh, folks working to... Uh, to actually, as we said, sabotage, uh, subvert uh, the, uh, and the lawful link. president. Uh, George David, Soros. your thoughts? Well, yeah, I, I, I think we shouldn't uh, be distracted by all the, the alphabet soup of names. The Shadow Party, I actually wrote a book uh, with Richard Poe called The Shadow Party. What George Soros did was he created a coalition of billionaires, street thugs, uh, unions, uh, government unions in particular, leftists. Uh, with the agenda of overthrowing the American system. This is, this is what's happening. We, uh, we didn't get confirmation hearings, we got a witch hunt. Uh, and this witch hunt is continuing. The Democratic Party is in full it's obstruction, the resistance is what they call it, which is, of course, uh, that makes Trump a Nazi. The, that's where the idea of uh, the resistance Yeah, but even, comes from. even that kind of defense and explanation rationale becomes uh, carrying the water of the obscene left, uh, which I, you know, I personally, I, I don't indulge right. in here. But the, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is that the shadow government exists. Whether it is uh, about opposition, we know it's much more than that. As you point out, we've already seen what they're doing with confirmation hearings. But this is about subversion of the Trump That's right. president. I'm sorry. That's exactly. That's exactly right. Obama is a died in the radical. 
He's a died in the world radical. He comes from the same background I did. He's raised by communists. He never left the communist left. Uh, just because they, they know how to talk a good game and pretend that they're part of the system, well, their agenda is overthrow the system. And, and let, let's, there are certain things that are also very clear that are happening that are not getting a lot of coverage right now, like Valerie Jarrett moving into the Obama's home on Calorama. Now that, reported here. Yes. And, and but here's what's interesting. Barack Obama's office, he can't do any politics in the office that the taxpayers are paying for. So we can only do the politics in his home. So this is this is a dynamic where we've got a, an easier framework. And this is what he intends to be doing, I think, of, for the next several years, at least. This is what his agenda is. Is there any book. response on the part of the Trump administration, the Trump White House, the Trump presidency? That it, is there a response it can take? Uh, to neutralize uh, the subversion uh, or, or eliminate what appears to be nearing very closely uh, sedition. Well, <clears throat> uh, he's trying mockery, which I think is very effective. Investigate Pelosi and investigate Schumer. Right. I mean, there's this complete trumped up baloney about uh, Jeff Sessions. This is the <laughs> this is the most transparent, um, uh, least credible witch hunt uh, in America. No, I understand history. that. But what is the response, the appropriate well, response, the response on the part of the administration to that it, witch hunt? It's got to be to mock it and to don't right. back down and to prosecute the leakers. There's one thing there's one thing you can do right away. Get rid of every Obama appointee in this government yeah. and every Obama hire in this government. He's got to right completely now, clean the slate. He can the do head that clown, on his own. Chuck Schumer is in charge of the confirmation process. That's not as uh, easily done as it would uh, would seem, uh, given their, their activism uh, in opposition. <laughs> Okay, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that this channel has two different perspectives or two different missions. One, to call you to repent, to preach the gospel and get ready for the judgment, the spiritual side of it. Another is biblical, but it's more of a political and social aspect of things. The mark of the beast, the, the political aspects of the one world government and all the signs that relate to the things in society that we need to pay attention to and get ready for. To be honest with you, that stuff's more intriguing uh, than it is spiritually necessary. So we're trying to preach the gospel, get ready, the judgment's coming, repent from your sins, purify yourself, get holy by faith, be saved by the grace of God, that aspect of preaching the gospel and the other aspect of analyzing and diagnosing the things that are happening in society and the components of politics and how uh, the change of religion is taking place and all the social, geopolitical things. We're not big into that, and I don't want to turn into that, but there are times when we have to slow down and expand a little bit and incorporate these other elements. It's very important that we pay attention. Jesus said, watch for the signs. Now, he didn't just say, repent from your sins. He said, believe. He said, believe in everything that I'm saying. And Jesus taught about the end of the world, the coming judgment, but the end and the signs that are gonna take place. He told us to watch out the, uh, de the abomination of desolation. He told us about the false Christ, the false prophets, and all the things that are coming to deceive the world. He told us about the wars and rumors of wars and the pestilence and earthquake. He wants us to pay attention to the things that are happening into the world. So this is part of that. Paying attention to some of these things really keeps me on the edge of my seat. Knowing that what I am witnessing is historic. It's uh, unprecedented to see this great nation, to be born in this great nation, the greatest Christian nation, the most rich powerful, economic, explosive, innovative, technological nation in the world with the most freedoms founded in Christianity is now being overthrown, overthrown by the spirit of antichrist, by the spirit of tyranny, which is my friends prophesied and unstoppable. We cannot change the prophecies. We cannot do anything but prepare ourselves. And so that's what this channel is trying to do, to prepare your soul for judgment, 
so that you'll be saved and and to disclose and analyze and elaborate on some of the signs that we're paying attention to so that we realize just how close we really are to the end. So if you like that, then you found the right channel. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support, your donations. I really appreciate your love. And I invite you to come fellowship with us on Sundays in our chat room. Go to my website, study the Bible studies. Make sure that you are ready for the end because we're here. Peace.